Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai, saying, Go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it, for their evil has come up before me. But Jonah rose to flee from the presence of the Lord. And so Jonah has made a grave error in his judgment for his lack of compassion for broken and lost people. Where do we see that in our church? Where do we see that in our day? Many times we have configured in our minds who God should save and who God shouldn't save based on how comfortable I am with engaging them. And if God responded to us like we spawned to other people, none of us would have been saved. All of us are like Jonah in some way, shape, or form because most of us like what God says until we are called to action. And so God says, I'm going to make sure that the very thing that you're trusting in breaks apart. I pray that God doesn't have to send a storm to get our craziness back on the path that he's called us to be in on. Now he's saying to him, see, this is my issue with you, Jonah. You have more compassion for your needs being met temporarily than the eternal needs of others who you may not like. And so it's time for you to rise up. You need to wake up and arise up to your need to respond to God in biblical obedience. And so in order for us to repent, guess what we have to do? We have to let go of some stuff that may corrode our ability to maximize our walk with God through Jesus Christ and our relationship with Him. Let, let's, let's make the love of God primary. And because He's loved me, I want to go love others. And I want to go proclaim the greatness of His love to as many people as possible. I pray that through this series, God would change our heart, that he would change our hearts and begin to make us more compassionate, make us more loving, then us going through this book will show God during surgery and unearthing things in our life that will unleash us to the glory of God 